every team is playing India all the time now, <laughs> right? You have a, everyone's coming yeah. once a year. West so, Indies, yeah, Australia is. Yeah. Mm. So West Indies, in my book, are the new Sri Lanka. In the 90s, you couldn't get up without India and Sri Lanka playing. They're playing in Shard, they're playing in Calcutta. <laughs> They'll play in your backyard if you get a game for them. Yeah. And now it's the West Indies. Yours is big enough. <laughs> see, see, mine's not. I don't know whether your backyard's big enough, but Joy's is Joy's backyard. Joy's is backyard it's, is very it's big, big enough to play a game of cricket in. He lives in Delhi, we live yeah, in Mumbai, yeah. so it doesn't. <laughs> but uh, the India West Indies Cricket Carnival, there you go. They've played every year. So they play, either they'll play tests and T20s, they'll play, you know, only white ball. They just, just play. That's enough games, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, and I, I think, and given what the West Indies are at this point in time, it's safe to say that they're not a premier side, really, yes. in all formats of the game, definitely. T20 is a kind of format where they bubble up. Also, it doesn't hurt to have, you know, the IPL auction around the corner. They have a lot of exciting players. This is their best format. Yeah. So, if you've got to see a good contest between India and the West Indies, you probably would say a T20 would be their best chance of getting it. You very don't blame them either. I mean, <laughs> everyone wants to play India. Yeah. It's where the money is. It's where the television money is, where the broadcasting rights money is. So everybody wants to play India. It's just that it seems it goes through little periods where someone is there all the time or two times a year. And it's just the West Indies turn at the moment. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and that, that's down to it. From a New Zealand point of view, they don't play England or South Africa very often. Yeah. You'd love to play them more. We seem to have Sri Lanka on our shores all the time. So <laughs> it, it just... It's, so New Zealand is the new India. Yeah, New Zealand is the new India. I think we've got Sri, we've taken Sri Lanka off your off your hands. No, no, one sec. Sri Lanka's <laughs> coming in three weeks. Yeah. Sri Lanka's here in the beginning of January. But after a long, long time. Yeah, because you guys let them go. So they're coming <laughs> here. We've, we've let them go. It's, but it's, they, hard, it's hard though, isn't it? It's hard to get that whole situation right where, where the same, you know, where you get an equal amount of teams touring your country and, and different teams time and time again. It just, sometimes with the way the schedule falls, it's uh, it's just unfortunate. You, you you end up looking like you're playing the same side. But is that, is that again. bad for the for the fans then? Is, that, uh, is there a danger of it getting, of the rivalry getting stale for fans? Well, you want a contest. You, you yeah. want a good hard fought contest. And I think what Joy was just saying about the West Indies being in the 2020 format, it's their best it's opportunity their best to beat India. I, they just they don't look good enough to beat them in a test match. Yeah. India is so strong at home, it just looks impossible for the West Indies to beat them. So 50 over cricket, I, I think there are probably a, a, an 80, you know, 80, 20 favourites India every time they go into a game. And, and T20, they're actually, they can be competitive.